Good evening. One, two, one, two, one, two. Today is Thursday, August the 12th. Thursday, August 12th. Let's do it. Turn on your cameras, please. Make sure you have your full name. Where are the others? Hello. Hello, the health show. I mean, hello. What's up? How's it going? It's going, it's going. <laughs> what about you? What you been up to? I'm doing good. Okay. I'm a little bit in pain with all my body. Mm. But yeah, but good. But the symptoms has been re reducing, dec decrease, decreasing. Decreasing. The symptoms have been decreasing. Do you have both shots already? No. No? The vaccines? No. So you were not vaccinated? Not yet. Oh. oh I hope you do better. Did you get the test results? Uh, not yet. <laughs> what? Really? But they did a test on you, the PCR. Uh not yet because mm. uh, only for only uh by phone really okay yeah. well the pcr test is 30 dollars in a lab here in constitution i just did it to my son my eight-year-old son it was 30 dollars and they gave him the results um in three hours something like that that was really oh, good yeah, yeah. Okay. You should consider that. It's very important. Okay. 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 Let's do it, guys. Today is Thursday, 12th, um, tomorrow and Monday, and we're done. So let's see. Ada Susena Caceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, one second. Sandra, Fernando, Miriam, Jocelyn, my, uh, please turn on your cameras. So we can move on, Alexander. Thank you. Alexander de Jesus yes, Sanchez Soto. Present. Thank you. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. <laughs> Carla Ivania, not yet. Okay. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Fatima Ifegenia Lopez Ramos. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Thank you. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present teacher. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Good evening. Present. Thank you, Miguel. You stay 10 minutes after the class, please. 10 minutes. Miriam okay. Carolina Mozo Valdez. Present. Rene Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present, teacher. Excellent. Rina Marisabel yeah. Alvarez de Chavez. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Teacher. Oh. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I think that uh, that you're... Uh, no, I'm not sure if I have bad connection, but I'm here. Just yeah, I heard you. And I saw that you're driving or you're... Uh, yeah. I got you, and yes, we can hear you and see you. Don't worry. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Osor Tormero. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Good evening. 
Thank you. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Not yet. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present. Oh, there you are. Turn on your camera, please. Jose Alfredo yes. Sandoval Sarabia. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Angel Martinez Hernandez. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Excellent. Okay, let's do it. What do you remember about yesterday? About yesterday's class. Where were we? We were, we were talking about um, definition about some, how to create a, a training. Hmm. Yeah. The stages, right? Something like the stages to, to define how to create a training for a position, right? A position. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, are you aware? Are you aware of your processes, the things that you do in your job? Yes. Yeah, kind of. Okay, you have them clear. Your responsibilities and the activities that you do, the processes that you have to follow, right? Okay, that's today's class. We have to talk about that. So, meanwhile, let's remember something really quick just to warm up the class, okay? We only have 10 minutes for this. So, let's do something very simple for intermediate, easy. Hmm. For this grammar tense, you need a subject, you need will, okay? And the base form of a verb. And, of course, a complement. So, what grammar tense is this? Simple future. Simple future, that's right, with will. Okay, very good. What about a negative sentence? It's very, very similar. Okay. So I'll check. Mm -hmm. Plus will not. Plus will not or want, yeah. right? It's the same thing. The contraction yeah. is what we use the most. And the base verb and the complement. And finally, for a question, what else, what do we need? Will. Right. Will. We bring the auxiliary yeah. to the front. Plus the subject. Change position. Plus the base. Mm -hmm. Plus complement and it's question mark. There you go. Don't forget the question mark. Okay. Good. That's all you need in order to make simple to use the simple future with will okay so really quick let's get some examples a volunteer okay no volunteer a victim Fatima. i will do i will do my best on every single thing i will do my best on every single thing yeah simple as that show me the panel okay I will do my best in every single thing I do. Yeah, that's okay. Uh huh. Another example, Fatima. I will drive the car. Let's change the subject. Uh huh. I will drive the car. You, yeah. Or you will. Okay. Okay, you will drive the car. Okay, one more. One more. Uh, Ada Susena. Another affirmative sentence. She, she will, she will uh, run every day. Easy, very good. Okay, next negative sentence. Juan Guzman. I think Juan is busy. Let me see. Rene Madrid. 
Hi, teacher. Let's make a negative sentence using will. Uh, I will not to the beach. I will not to the beach. What are we missing? Mm, oh. Look at the formula. What are you missing? Oh, I, I want, no, I want not. I will not. I will uh, not. Uh, we're missing go, the, go, uh, go oh, okay. The, okay. Go to the beach. Go to go. the beach. To okay. The beach. Yes. So I have a subject, I have will not or want. Puedo usar will not or puedo usar want. René, ojo. Then we have mm. a base okay. verb. Tenemos un verbo base y luego el complemento. Mm. Okay? okay, very good. Compliment. I won't go to the beach. Okay, Carla Janet. Let's make a negative, <laughs> another negative sentence. Uh, she won't eat. Uh, the dinner. She won't eat dinner. Or dinner. Yeah, she won't eat dinner. Okay, Sandra Elizabeth, one more. Uh, to look, it's title. I will not help you finish. Okay, so you said first, you look tired. Tired, see? I want. Okay, I want, I want to finish. Won't be to my mother. I'm sorry, I won't help you finish. Yes, Mold. the document. Te ves cansado, no te voy a ayudar a terminar este documento, el documento. Mm, ok, that sounds cruel. Lo termino matando. Sí, suena cruel, pero bueno, ok. Ok, let's look at the grammar, very good. Ok, let's go with questions. Carolina Beth. Will you, will you go to the cinema? tonight Okay, excellent. Jose Antonio Cubillas. Mm. Will will she come? My home. Hey, will tomorrow. she come to my to my home tomorrow? House. To my house. house tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow. Yeah, you can say to my home. Will she come to my house tomorrow? Okay. And the last example using will with questions, Miguel Angel. Will they play soccer with me on Sunday, Saturday? Okay. Yeah, we got it. Will they play soccer with me on Saturday? You got it. Okay, simple as that. That's the simple future using will. Just remember we use this grammar tense when we are not sure that we will do the action. If you are 100% sure that you will do the action, then you do it. Just one minute, please. Okay. Let's continue. So I'm going to split you just for five minutes. I'm just going to give you six minutes, actually, so you can practice with your classmates. How? How? Okay, Jocelyn, give us an open question with Will. Okay. 
Any subject? Any question, just using will with WH. Will you study next semester at the university? Hmm. Mm, open question with WH. I know you can do it. If not, let's have Isela. Well, we we well we ah, be. Yes. <laughs> Alexander is English, not French. I will. I will try again. Oh, we, we, we. No, what will we? Okay. I will try again. <laughs> okay, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, okay, go okay. ahead. Uh -huh. What career will you study in the next semester? What career? Study in mm -hmm. Would you study in the next semester? Of course, in the morning. You study the next semester. Okay. Okay, let's, yeah, let's take that question now. I need something more for you to speak, for everybody to speak. So something common, you know, thinking about the future. <laughs> About Christmas. And I will will you Christmas. Will you study? Mm -hmm. What would you do if, if you win a okay. million dollars? Oh, okay. okay. What will you do if On you Sunday, win I'll... a million dollars? Cool. Yeah, that's more imaginative. That's more creative. Okay, so you can speak. Okay, let's answer these questions really quick. You only have six minutes together. Make sure you talk to your classmates. It's easy. Let's go. Okay, what what okay. Okay, good evening. Good evening, uh, Miguel. Desde ya pido, pido disculpas porque uh -huh. si me escuchan bien, pero me, me, me está sacando de la clase. Sorry. Okay, don't worry. Okay, Jose Cubilla. Con el celular, pero bueno. Okay. okay. Jose Cubilla, how, how many times will you read that email? No, ask, ask the question. What? Uh, Only what? What did, what did Isela? What will do if you win one million dollars? Okay, I think like that. It's oh. on the Zoom chat. Do you have it on the chat? Oh. Okay. I what will you do if you win a million dollars? I, I will buy a house. What more? <laughs> What else? Ah, what else? I forgot. Hello. 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 Hey, hello. 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 <laughs> okay. okay. What, what will you do if you win a million dollars? I will buy a car. I will pay my my. Uh, a new a new job. 
Yes, possible. <laughs> My own business. Oh, yes. Vamos a ver. Usted estudia, ¿verdad? No, I finished already ah. my career. No oh. es que como escuché que estaba preguntando que okay, iban a estudiar el nuevo semestre, creí que estudiaba todavía en la U. Mm -hmm. No, thanks God, no. <laughs> <laughs> What would you do if you win a million of dollars? Um, I don't know. Maybe um, I will travel. Travel. Mm. I want to travel to to South Korea. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Around the world. What country? Yeah, would you like I, will, to... I will buy a. Uh, a house or I will build a house. I'm not going to build the house, but I'm going to pay to build the house and pay some some loans that that I already have. And where else? I don't know, maybe I'm going to I don't know how to say invertir teacher. Invest. Invest. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm going to invest uh um I think that in clothes or something like that. Or maybe I'm going to, to analyze what is the the better option to invest my money to get more money than, than the money that I already have and continue traveling. Oh, wow. That's good. Cool. Oh, okay. That's good. Cool. <laughs> and Rene? Rene, what would you do if you get a million dollars? Oh, uh, I will go on vacation. Uh, I, will, I, don't, uh, I will go on vacation. I will go on vacation. Uh, I don't, or uh, in the world, or I don't the world. I will go on vacation from work. From work. In Nairobi. Oh, yeah. I was. We are waiting for you, teacher. <laughs> because the second, <laughs> the second question. Mm -hmm. In my case, is I don't know if grammatically correct you because you will do. What will you do if you win a million dollar? You use a a conditional. It's no. more like what you use. It's more uh, proper. It's more proper. Mm. But you can use will. Remember, will is a model too. But we can mm. use uh, in their response, uh, will. Yeah. Mm. No, like... no, I mean, for the example, we are using will <laughs> just to check the grammar. Yeah. Go ahead. Have you done it? No, are you I... done? No, no, no. Okay. No. Try it. Okay. I'm a Lears. Okay. okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Carolina is going to be Alex. first. <laughs> Hello? Sorry? You are going to be first. Oh, okay. Um... In my case, uh, what is the question? Um, I will uh, a career not because I finished, um, but uh, maybe the next um, next more uh, between two more two more or three. Uh, I'm gonna uh, start to study some something like uh, di digital marketing. Uh, for of course, 
um, what else? And practice, practice in English because I need to practice a lot. Um, if if I win a million a million of dollars, I I will uh, I will just I will start my own business. Um, I I will associate it with my sister. She has a lot of abilities, but I'm not sure if if may um, maybe about uh, something like food or something about clothes. Uh, I'm not decided decided yet. In my case, what about what about you? Ask to someone else. Uh, okay. Uh, William. Tell us, what would you study or what would you do the next semester? Now, what? Let's do the second question. That one million. Yeah. What will you do if you uh, won a, a million dollars? Okay. What will you do if you win a million dollars? In my case, mm -hmm. I I tell to my friend that I invite to my private ranch at the beach <laughs> and make a party all weekend, all the money, spend the money, and forget all the debt I have in the bank. What else? But they don't. They they do not, don't like the idea. They just say, "I will invest in a business in a Wall Street and something like that." Yeah, it's so boring. But it could be funny. One million dollars. It's not to be disappeared so easy. But I I could use it to be um to help me to be happy more happy than I am. Happier. Happier person in the world. <laughs> to be the happiest person in the world. What comparative and superlative. Right, remember. I always confuse that. We saw that at the beginning of the of this model of uh, the happiest person in the world. That's a superlative. To be happier than my than friends, the other ones. than other ones. Yeah, to be happier than other friends. Yeah. Okay. I think you can handle it now. Let's go. I've been thinking about the times. You walked out on me. Dun, dun, dun. There were moments I believed you were there. Journey? No journey? Somebody? No? Okay. Chicago? Maybe? No? Okay. Air supply? Yeah, I like this. Like, I love air supply. Yeah. Van Halen? I I was learning mm -hmm. when I was learning English some years ago. Um, I remember to to improve my my pronunciation and, and some and get a new vocabulary. I was listening that kind of call, and it's a little bit. It's I'm sorry. It's easier to understand some word mm -hmm. and also the the um the lyrics or lyrics and are, you and you have lyrics <laughs> are romantic yeah, yeah and, and have, you have lyrics nowadays uh, music songs. yeah nowadays music yeah. doesn't don't have lyrics you know it's like what right good yeah good. that's that's right okay good 
job, I think. Uh, you can handle the future, right? It's easy. Okay. So let's continue using we that. We hope. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now for the first activity on this lesson, um, we have to identify our job duties, you know, or responsibilities as we said before. So let's think about it. It's your turn. Use the process in the previous page, what we did yesterday, okay, remember? Okay. To determine your skills and knowledge at work, Decide if you need to go to training and what training solutions would you prefer? Remember, training solutions is having a one on one meeting with your boss, having an e learning training, you know, going through pages. Decide um, if you want any of this short term or long term trainings. Um, and just to clarify, a short term training. It's just a training of one afternoon, you know, six hours, four hours, or two days or four hours. That's a short-term training. A long-term training could be two months, one month in training before you start a new job. Makes sense, right? So using that, determine what are your skills and your knowledge at work and define if you need a training, how would you like to be trained? So for example, let's analyze my job. What activities do I need to perform in my job? What do you think? Okay, other than delivering the class, I have to prepare the classes, I have to upload the videos. Okay, now, mm -mm. good. Let's say that that's all I do, okay. My skills and knowledge. Okay, what specific skills do I need to perform my job? Am I skilled to perform my job? Um, I need to know how to use the computer. I need to know how to use Zoom. I need to know how to upload videos on YouTube and to troubleshoot. You know what is troubleshooting, somebody? Yeah. What yes. is it in Spanish? I can. Uh, Resolución de problemas. Excellent. Oh my God, I'm not typing. Yeah. I didn't know the meaning of Spanish. <laughs> Spanish, huh? that's why I asked because it's not coming. Yeah, troubleshoot, yeah. one O, two O's. But this word is, is most common used even in, in Spanish. You can say troubleshoot to the customers. Mm, what do you mean? You cannot go like, oh, you need to troubleshoot that problem to a customer? A customer understand about if you mention that word. They do or they don't? They don't. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They won't understand. They won't get it. Yeah. Okay. I follow you. Sometimes they don't. True. Okay. So if I want to troubleshoot a problem with Zoom, with the videos, how to upload the videos on YouTube, I don't know how to do that. Mm -hmm. Training necessities. Okay. Hmm. Besides skills and knowledge gaps. You know what? Yeah. Are there any skills I lack and that could help me do my job better? Uh, I don't know what to do when, when the Zoom video doesn't convert. I don't know how to do it. Identify training solutions. I'm gonna go fast with this. What I do when I don't know something, I go to Google. I just go to Google. I don't know how to troubleshoot Zoom video when it doesn't convert to mp4 so i went to google and i did an e-learning training for myself i just found information and troubleshoot myself saying google it. saying google that's right um i didn't know how to change the starter motor on my car so i went on google and looked for a troubleshooting steps how to swap how to swap the starter engine on my car so i did it myself it was amazing. It was really good. Okay, so your turn. You have to identify the processes that you do just the way I did. ¿Hay alguna pregunta de lo que vamos a hacer ahorita? Mm -hmm. No. No? Okay. 
Ok, voy a ir a los grupos esperando <ríe> encontrarlos haciendo cosas que no es lo que vimos. Ok, so. Surprise. Surprise. Ok. <ríe> Let's go. Ok. Let's see if you can do it. By the way, that's page 35. Page 35. Let me share the screen. <laughs> mm. We have to. Mm -hmm. I got Sorry, uh, I have problem. Connection. Uh, we we have to select um a position for do that or for doing that for no doing that. it's your position each of you mm. okay In my case, how do I the job? What activities do I need to perform in my job? I need to perform uh, um, the analysis, analyze, analyzing or analyze. Uh, uh, analyst, you are analyst. Mm, I need to analyst. analyze, I need to analyze what? Analyze requirements of the of the customers. Mm. That is the first step for for doing a, a develop of a new capability or new future in application in an application. Um, we have to to. Uh, communication skills. I ha I have to perform my communication skills with with my workers and with my product owner or my scrum master, project manager. I we have to to have a no, we have to no sería we have to tener una buena comunicación. We have to. Estoy diciendo tenemos que tener. We have to have no 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 no. <laughs> we have to get. We have to get a uh, good communication between he and me or she or, or something. Some some. And um, we have to 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 improve my uh, programming skills uh, for for doing new new feature capabilities new. Uh, with, when I I get an on require a requirement that I never did, for example, I have to to res research about that, and I have to learn fast for doing that requirement. I have to learn faster. Faster, yes, yes, learn faster to to accomplish that requirement. Yes, yes. Okay. I have to be responsible in the in the days, the, the two days for for deliver that to that, deliver to deliver that that requirement. Fer, corrijamos eso. To verbo en su forma base. Sí. For verbo en ing. Okay. For ah sí, pero o cualquier preposición. Uh, 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 okay, okay. To verbo en su uh -huh. forma base. For uh -huh. Verbo con ING. Okay. Think about it. Okay. Okay. Keep going, um, guys. Great job. Calendars of upcoming activities attend in May. Supervise close session. Session. Oh, nice. Okay. And Miriam? No, Miriam. Miriam. Yes, we, Miriam was here. But now okay. it's not. Media check for <laughs> hmm. 
I guess Miriam has issue with the connection teacher. Is mm -hmm. Miriam is going uh, is Claudia. entered to the meeting again? Please send it to our group. Now was Miriam. Miriam. Hi guys. Yes. Uh, hi Claudia. Hi. How are you? So far so good. And you? Um, I'm good. Thank you for asking. Okay. Um, do you listen what we are going to do? This no. No. I don't have. I uh, know. I cannot hear now. Nothing. Because I five or four uh, three minutes ago, I I finished my finish my work. No, finish the job. Yeah. My shift. My shift. Sorry. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, you can say my job, but it sounds better yeah, if you yeah. say my shift. Shift. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, well, well, we were explaining with the girls uh, the activities that we need to handle it in our in our job. Hmm. I was about to say my shift. <laughs> it's about sorry. Can you repeat again? Handle the the activities that we need to deal to do to deal like with example, with yes, for example, to deal with. Now I pronounce well. No, you okay. it's what's okay, but with. you were you were missing the preposition. Uh -huh. Keep going. Okay, for example, in my case, I need to know how to use a baya, I need to know how to use citrix, I need to know how to write a conversation, the the call story that the customer is telling to me at the same time that I am resolving the issue. I need to know how to track the case number. Wait, but uh, if you need to know, those are training necessities or could be gaps, right? This is what you actually do yes. every day. Okay. I guess, right? Jocelyn? Okay, right. Mm -hmm. Yes, training necessities is just... What do you think you're missing? to, to uh, improve your job? Mm, like, so, like a customer satisfaction training, because I would like to know how to deal with these very kind of people. You know, we receive a difficult customer one time. How, maybe to, how to handle difficult one. customers? Yeah. How to handle difficult customers, the one that wants the things so fast mm -hmm. and I, they can now let you know how to explain yes how to avoid escalations the... how to avoid escalations i, <laughs> I know i am not aware that i that is escalated too easy because i don't like it to request a supervisor in my account is too hard they are telling why did the customer escalate to you what do you tell to the customer why he is angry oh, come on it's always that's the same story in every call center. Don't worry. I never I never escalate my customers unless unless they are really, really upset and it's an attitude problem. They just don't want to listen to nobody other than the supervisor. If they are closed, I'm sorry. Okay, give me a minute. Just pass them to a supervisor okay. and that's it. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, yes, this is the the necessity for me, I don't know the other girls. Now that we that you already explained better what training we need in our job. Now uh, let's continue with you, Jocelyn. And now you you have identified the current skill and knowledge, you know what you can do. You identify the knowledge gaps, okay. Customer um interaction. And last, what kind of training would you like to have? to cover that necessity? What would be the training solution? Point number four. Okay, keep going. Yes. Mm. Will be analyze the job. Okay. Um, for example, for me, I identified the training that I needed to complete is about behavior because I needed to 
start defining behavior number five. That is the first is bill report, proving question, and features and benefits. I have three certif I certify in this trade behavior. Uh, probably the next month I will, I needed to, I'm going to certify in behavior number four, that is uh, some, some the cell and rebuttals. I'm going, I'm going to be certified. I'm going to be certified. Thank you. Okay. Um, now, let me stop you for a minute, girls. Uh, so how will you be trained? Is it going to be a one-on-one session, an e-learning course, or a short-term training or a long-term training? Uh, I would prefer one-on-one. One-on-one. Okay. It all depends on the topic, yes, right? Because, okay. Continue. And I'm sorry, because one-on-one, -on -one, as the word said, is just the training in you. So you can ask the question, you can identify what you didn't understand, and you can understand better if there is Joe in the training, you in the training, so in the trainer. So. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, keep going. Ada, Sandra, okay, everybody. Create the the ¿cómo se dice facturas? Um, bills. bills, invoice. Bills. Well, yeah. Create the bills. I'm not, I don't know. Um, create, uh -huh. create a. It would be a good bill. idea for, to perform the. Uh, create a, a, a system of bills. So, ¿cómo se llama? Bills of, of system. It sounds better account system, more complicated. <laughs> okay. Account <laughs> system. Wait, account system. An accounting system? To create an accounting system. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. Create an account system I and, and decide well, like, knowledge. Decide skill and knowledge. Um, Sorry, are there any skills? I love that, that could have made it better. Follow the steps. Um, not, it's not just identifying your processes, the things that you do. Then you identify necessities of training. Let me see again. So analyze your job, identify the current skills that you have. You can say, I'm good at sending emails. I can do this, I can do that. I know how to, I know how to do this. And then decide that then you say, no, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to create a web page, for example, how to create a marketing campaign. You're missing these skills. You're missing this knowledge. That's point number three. And point number four, mm, I think I need a training, maybe an e-learning training on how to create a website, how to create a marketing campaign, and so on. Okay? Okay. okay. Let's fo follow one by one the steps. The, the people in, in all projects in my, my company. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, don't. I think that mm -hmm. you are missing some uh, some more questions. Uh, appro approximately. Mm -hmm. in, I cannot hear you very well. 
Sorry. Uh, yeah. Approximately 300 people. The 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 in, in the all the all projects the 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 the, the company the, the company. Okay. Uh, you are talking about the analyze job still, right? Yes. Okay. And the number two. What, what is specific skill do I need to perform? To perform? I, okay, I need... I need... Now. I need now. What do you think that, that you need to like uh, improve to or to do better? Okay. I think that I think that you can you don't you don't want to talk because the teacher is here, right? <laughs> I'm just listening. <clears throat> yeah. He at the beginning he said that he didn't want to try, but uh, then he said, "Okay, I'm going I'm going to try." But now I think that that he. <laughs> He don't, he don't like to try because you're here. I don't know. But the missing is William. The missing one. Okay. And when I, what what I do I need to perform? No. I need to know how to use a PC. And, and that's why I use Excel. And I need to use a, an inventory program. So I need to, to know how to send an email, for example. And what specific skills do I need to perform my job? And my skill to perform my job, uh, I need to be multitask. Multitasking. Okay, multitasking. And I, I need to be organized. And I need to know how to type some reports, send emails, and quoting carefully. Ah, sorry, I'm a little sick. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> and are there any skills? Uh, I lack and that could help me do my job better. I need to improve, for example, people communication and improve how to type some reports or organize my time well. That's it. Teacher, I have a question. Um the word multitask multitask uh, huh? multitask multitask uh is the word that that exists right mm, what do you mean okay <laughs> um if that word exists uh, oh what's the right word multitask multitasking or multitask it's not multitask, uh huh. Yeah, it's multitasking. 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 And the Multi other one? Multitask. Multitasking. And are the and are the same meaning? The... No, no. You need to multitask, or can you? Are you good at 
multitasking. You need to multitask when you work or are you good at multitasking? One is a verb and the other one is a noun. Without ing is a verb, with ing is a noun. A noun. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Multitask. Multitasking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the pronunciation, I think that I'm going to, I'm going to forget it. But <laughs> multitasking. Multitasking. Because I, I have here, I have heard more multitasking, but it's multitasking. Yeah, everybody says multitasking, but we're in El Salvador, so yeah, and that's that's a right commonly okay. accepted. <laughs> yeah, okay. multitasking. Mm -hmm. Multitasking. Okay. Yes, yeah, it's a little bit complicated to say multitasking. Multitasking skills. Similar with criticism, 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 criticism. Oh my God! Okay. And Jose, Jose is not talking. Why, Jose? Are you are you afraid to the teacher? Yes. No. Why are you afraid of the teacher? <laughs> Why are you afraid of the teacher? Why are you afraid of the teacher? Yes. Oh, sick. <laughs> oh, my. I think that, that Jose... He, he, he is a, a, a singer. I'm sorry? It is a, a, a singer, singer, very singer, very singer, singer. Yes. Who is singer? The teacher, the singer, very well. Ah, uh, he's singer. Uh, ah, come on. <laughs> he he's telling you he's telling you that to to yeah. get points. Uh -huh. or, or to avoid to be used in the next participation <laughs> to be the oh. next victim. Oh He's yeah, Jose. Want, yeah, that's that's okay. You want to participate, Jose Antonio? Let's go back. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Let's continue. So uh, before you present your ideas, all right, choose some of you to present your ideas. Um, let's do the attendance one more time. Okay, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Okay. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespín. Present, teacher. Elvin Arcides de Guizabal Martínez. Present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Okay. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Gisela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Carla Yanet, Amaya Herrera. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz, Landa Verde. Present. Thank you. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Excellent. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Sabrina Mabel, no, okay. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. 
Present. Okay. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Thank you. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ibet Romero Avelino. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present, teacher. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández y Juan Marcos Guzmán. Okay, so let's go by parts. I need a volunteer. Someone who really, really, really did this by heart. Huh? I need a volunteer. Come on, come on. Okay, no volunteer. Carolina, what's your favorite color? Close your eyes. Uh, my favorite color is blue. Blue. I love William Alexander's sky, the way it looks. Teacher, blue. What? Yeah, the blue sky is from William Alexander Ramirez. Ramirez's picture. Okay, your background, William, it's awesome. Okay, so let's go with William. William, what activities do you need to perform in your job? Let's go one by one. Hey, I, uh, I need to check the cash flow. Uh, I need to know how to use a a PC. Wait, 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 wait. So, but the things that you need to perform, the, the things that you already do. Uh, when I really do, uh, for example, I quoting. You quote? Uh-huh. Send emails. Uh, write reports. I can... Uh, I, when I quote I use a, an inventory program. And then I have some meetings. This is my daily routine. Your daily routine, right. Okay. What specific skills do you need to perform your job? And are you skilled to perform your job? You think you know everything already? No, I'm ready. I don't. I need to. Uh, I mean, if, if I were you, what skills do I need to perform your job? Uh, you need to to know how to, to use a computer, to send emails, how to quoting. How to do and, quoting? Okay. Yeah and have some meetings with some clients and how to uh, communication uh, with people or- You need to have people skills. People skills, yeah. Okay, okay, perfect. That's what I, someone else will need, right? What you need. Okay, uh, now are you skilled at using the computer, using the inventory system? Um, using uh, people skills when you are talking to customers? Are you good at quoting? I need to improve my people communication. People skills? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's number three. So those are the skills you lack and that could help you to do your job better. So having better people skills will be very productive for you. And have a good internet, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but those are deficiencies. <laughs> those are deficiencies at your job, okay? Your tools at work need to be improved, okay? Okay, so but, may, let's say that mainly you need people's skills, how to deal with customers. Yeah. Okay, now in that sense, what type of training program will you will be helpful to develop your skill? 
the skill that you like. In this case, would you prefer an online training, watching videos, reading articles? Would you prefer a one-on-one -on -one session with a trainer? You know, like, hey, look, you have to talk to people like this, okay? And da, da, da. a group training that will last one week or a group training that will last a month. What do you think will be better for you? I prefer one in one and Why? talk about it. Yeah. And talk about the problem. Okay. Just you and, and the trainer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, you know, I, I prefer group trainings because you do role plays with the participants and you go like, okay, you're the customer, you are the employee. Okay. Let's practice this. Okay. That's totally acceptable as well an e-learning training will be good if you like to read and watch videos you know an informa informative training good job okay William so now William help me select someone else one more of your classmates okay um... Carla Janet Amaya Now, William, can you please conduct the interview that we just did with you? Now, you are me and Carla is you, okay? What? Say what? <laughs> or I see you, you, you're, you have a cold. Shall we use Jocelyn? Would you like to Jocelyn to make the questions? No. Come on, Jocelyn. Or Carolina. Carolina. I am no good being there. <laughs> Interviewer, <laughs> come on. Yes. Someone else? Me. <laughs> okay, Alexander, if you feel better. Okay, go ahead. Make the questions to Carla the way I did with William. Go. Could you share the screen of what page is? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It's uh, Carla, right? What activities do you need to perform in your job? Okay. Um, I need I need learn how to do a, the dynamic tables on Excel. So. It takes me a long time to make reports with, uh, with formulas. Mm, okay, this is more like your activities, what you do in your job. Uh, I have, I do, Invoices, I do uh, reports about sales, uh, and I have to send to my boss. Okay, perfect. So please tell me, what specific skills do you need to perform your job? And are you skilled to perform your job? Okay, I am good for learning. Uh, I am good for learning fast. Uh, I can solve problems uh, easy. Uh, so I can use a basic formulas, formulas in Excel. Formulas. Formulas. Uh -huh. Okay. So, are you skilled to perform your job? Mm -hmm. Repeat. Are you skilled to perform your job? Mm, you know all about it, everything about your job. 
No, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't uh, for example, are you good with Excel formulas? Are you good with uh -huh. Excel charts? Yes. I told you, I told you, I can use Excel for uh, with a basic formulas. And I learn. I need uh, to learn. I, I learn, uh, I need to learn how to use formulas, but uh, more advanced. All right, I, I, need, I need to learn how to use more advanced formulas. Repeat. Uh, yeah. I, I need, need to learn how to use, to use more uh, advanced, more advanced formulas. Formula. Formula. Formulas. Sí. Formulas. <laughs> Okay, formulas. Mm -hmm. Could you lie down, please? What? What I said? What we said? <laughs> mm -hmm. Scroll down. Uh, because I can. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. Things. Yeah, okay. okay. Okay, carry on. Thank you. Okay. Are there any skills you lack and that you could help you do? your job better i need a better computer i need a system more fast a faster system faster system and uh, only that okay now keep in mind we're talking about skills you lack not um tools you no. lack uh, okay. <laughs> if william did the same yeah. i need better internet <laughs> yeah it's your uh, skills i mean your knowledge uh, but you already you already said it right you said it i need to learn you said um how to improve uh, my excel formulas how to do better uh, or more advanced excel formulas okay so let's mm -hmm. let's stick to it. Let's say that you need an Excel training, right? Alexander, continue, Alexander. The four. four. Okay. What type of training program will we be help will be helpful to develop the skills you lack? And what are some training solutions that do not conflict with your work schedule and my in your personal life, like online programs, on the job training, mentoring? Uh, maybe online programs. Like a course, like the English course, an Excel course. Yes. Totally. Hey, on TikTok, you could find videos on TikTok. There's a guy teaching how to do formulas. It's very, it's crazy. It's very, very good. He's very good explaining. Okay, good job. So you see now in this case, hey, by the way, what is mentoring? Thank you, Alexander. Thank you, Carla. What is, what is mentoring, guys? What do you understand by mentoring? What's the difference between one-on-one -on -one training and mentoring? Uh -huh. I guess that mentor is when you already know, but a mentor is someone who is helping you more personal, for example. Yes, it's like yes. more personal, right? Right next to you all the time. But the difference is like shadowing. It could be, you know, a one on one, a one on one meeting could be a mentoring meeting as well because it all depends on your supervisor. If your supervisor is very smart, he will not tell you, okay, write mentoring, that email. Mentor is more like your support. Mm, listen, uh, um, um, a one-on-one -on -one meeting, uh, your boss will tell you, send that email. And you will go like, uh, you never touch an email before. Uh, okay, a mentor will tell you, look, and learn look and learn yes this is what you do okay and you select this 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 and that okay got it questions no okay do it i want to see how you do it 
Oh, okay, good, good job. Just, you're missing this, good job. That's mentoring. Next to you, show me uh, and I will learn. You got it? Mm. That's yeah. mentoring. Teacher, okay, teacher, what is different than mentoring and coach? Or Coaching is very similar to mentoring. But a coach is even worse. A coach will be on top of you. Come on, you can do this. Come on. You're very smart. You have done this before. You can do that. Try again. Read this, okay? Great job. Good job. Keep going. That's a coach. A mentor will be like, okay, very good. Okay, now let's do this, this, and that. Okay, what do you think? Oh, okay, good. It's more soft. It is, yeah, it's softer. A mentor is softer. The coach is aggressive. <laughs> yeah, coach is more passionate. It's more Raise passionate. Your spirit. He's always trying to encourage you, to encourage you to smile and be happy all the time. It's different and it's better. Okay. In some circumstances, that's better. Okay, guys, let's move it. If you're becoming a supervisor, my advice is for you is to become a coach, learn to guide by the example, always lead by the example, show before you ask people, before you demand, always show them how to do things. That's being a leader. Don't be a boss, please. Please don't be a boss. Be a leader, okay? Okay, so is it only new employees who need training? What do you do if you are a manager and an employee comes to you asking for training? Ooh. Okay, Fernando, what do you think? Claudia, is it only new employees who need training? Let's go with the first question. Okay. It is only the new employees who need training. Um, in my job and experience that I have, sometimes it's necessary the new employee or the new agents, they needed to pass sometimes training. But all the time, we needed to we needed to practice or we needed to know it about new updates for example in my job in my job in my account i works with at&t and at and sometimes every month change the price change the packet change the the price for the technician and this is i i work for a third party because i work with different company and it's for me i i thinking that it's important all the times we needed to have that some information good job okay hey final words final it's not sounds it's the the, the selection of words you're making Sometimes you pluralize when you don't need to pluralize or you put the verb in pass when you don't need it. Let me see with different company um, works. For example, you were saying I works. That sounded like an S. But let's go with the main area right now, Claudia. I needed okay. to know, I needed to, I needed. It's the second time I hear you using needed. I need to. I need, we need, I need to. to. Oh, yeah. We need to. We need to know. We, we need to know. Now repeat with me. We need to know. We, we need to know. We need to know. We need to know. Y es porque quizás tú has escuchado que alguien dice así. Y se escucha casi oh. que needed it, needed it, needed it. En pasado sí, needed to know. I needed to know. I needed to know. Eso es pasado. I need to know. I need to know. We need to know. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds weird, right? So you're in raro. I need to know. Yeah. Uh, Estás aplicando la regla esa de la D y la T entre dos vocales, una R, okay, I need to know. Okay. Um, technician. Okay. The word te technician. 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 Better. Yeah. Technician. I work, no, I work with different companies. I work with different companies. Uh -huh. Tendrías que pluralizar al decir different compañías, right? Different companies. Very good in that context. Okay. So it's not just 
the new employees who need training, you, uh, I mean, um, tenure. Let me see if someone knows about this word. Tenured employees, not just new hires, okay? New employees, you can say new hires, right? Mm -hmm. New hires, okay. Are you familiar with the word tenure? Yeah. Yeah. If you're in the call centers, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ada? I'm tenure. Carla? Your tenure, really? How long have you worked in your company? I have five years and four months working for the for the for the Sykes, for uh, Sykes. with the same account. Yeah, wow. more than five years. You have become a fixed asset, my dear. You are a fixed asset. Show me, show me your barcode. <laughs> Marco. <laughs> it is an activo fijo, yeah. <laughs> Your mark. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah, that's being tenure. The badge, the badge is your <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Tenure is como el derecho de piso. Yeah. Right. Okay, very good. Longer years you have. Okay, next. What do you do if you are a manager? and an employee comes to you asking for training. What do you do? I think that first you have to analyze uh, what or the reason why this, this agent or this person is requesting to, to take a training because sometimes if you are working Knuckle center, uh, sometimes they do to avoid to take calls. But if you find that the agent really needs to take some trainings to improve uh, some areas of opportunity, uh, yes, you can find a way to, to add a new training for, for this employee. Perfect. Yeah, um, this happened to me this morning, you know, um, in the call center, there's a chat for everybody. And I made a question. I didn't know how to do a process. Okay. So one of the supervisors that was on the chat, she tried, she's always very rude, you know, with agents. And she was like, okay, follow these guidelines. She gave me a number. Uh, we have a, a knowledge base where we have all the knowledge of the company and you can read it. So I was in a call. I was in a hurry with a very angry customer. And she was like, oh, read this and tell that to the customer. Tell what it says on this article. Read the article and tell that to the customer. And I was like, so I'm going to learn a new process right now and tell that to the customer. Okay, I read the article, it took me 15 minutes and I had the customer on hold. What do you think that happened with For the customer? For 15 minutes? For 15 minutes, I didn't, I was upset. So I was like, yeah. yeah. When I came back to the customer, she was yeah. like, what happened to you? Why did you keep me on hold for 15 minutes? I was like, I'm sorry, man. Listen, this is what I found out. I don't care what you found out. Give me a supervisor. And I was like, yeah. okay. <laughs> okay. Went back with the lady and I said, hey, can you take an escalation? And she was like, I don't take escalations. <laughs> I'm like, oh, really? And you're a supervisor? Okay. Smiley face on the chat, everybody was like, oh, <laughs> and I transfer oh, her, I, I transfer her to someone else. Did you get the idea? It's the karma. Yeah. It's <laughs> karma. That happens a lot. Okay. So yeah. think about it. What do you do with a new, with an employee? And he goes like, hey, I, I need to know. I need to know how to log into this tool. I need to know how to mop the floor. I need to know how to mop the floor because it's too dirty. What do you think? Is that a training need? Yes, it is. Yeah. So you don't go like, oh, 
go ask someone else. No, you have to help them. So let's discuss these two questions just for five minutes and we come back to have another conversation, okay? I'll send mm -hmm. you the questions right okay. now. Make sure you talk, okay? Discuss the question, have a conversation with your classmates. Let's do it. Recording stop. If you want, I can share the screen. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. This is going to be the first victim. <laughs> Is it only new employees who need to who need training? Well, actually, I believe that this is not true at all, because if you are a tenor, you need to uh, reinforce some topics, right? And because yeah. the new the new hire, they have the the fresh knowledge about the, the company, but I'm not sure you are um, working or doing the same thing every single day. Sometimes you miss out some processes and you need to reinforcement about it. You need reinforcement about it. About it, yeah. Man, what do you think? I think um, it's not true, like you say, because we, uh, in this world, um, we all had to update, constantly, constantly update um, with a lot of information, about documents or required um, technological factors, um, um, systems, um, the behavior with customer. Behavior. Beha behavior. Okay, behavior. Mm. What else? Mm. Yes, as you mentioned that not only new new people need training, the new people can have a training too because uh, things change. For example, in the in the place that I work. Recently, a, a new process was sent to all the employees. So, in, and we were like, okay, we have not received any training, and we will start. We will start taking calls since this new system. Well, we didn't know. We will learn the process while we are practicing. So, we needed a training. And what about the new hire? They were better in AST because they know it but we didn't know it, how to deal. Yes, and if you are a manager uh, and an employee comes to you asking for training, what will you do? I will provide the training to him. Uh, first, I will make the questions. Why do you need this training? Mm -hmm. Specific task for every every employee. It's not all the training for all of those the, the employees that come to the company, right? You need to uh, separate who are the, the 
qualified to the, to the task and improve with the training. Man, it's because if you don't want to, to um, um, how can I say that? You don't need to, uh, to give, give him all the process to people that doesn't need to know. You need to, to separate and decide which are the training do you want to do all of them. Of them. What do you do if you are a manager and an employee comes to you and asks you for training? Well, in my case, in, I decide which are the material I'm going to use to show him or the topics I'm going to um, to explain to those um, uh, employees. Because if um, not all the time the, the people come to you and uh, going to, to take that training. It's necessary to all of the employees have the training uh, in some period of time. Just like, um, um, how can I, 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 I forgot the, the, the specific word they use in a training, but for example, every six months they, in my case, for example, the truck drivers need to know about laws, about um, and different uh, topics about security on the road. And maybe it's the same when people go to you and ask you, hey, could you show me how can you do that? You decide what material, what topic, or what going to show, the, uh, show him to improve the, the the, the job that they are going to do. Anyone? Okay. I think that we are missing Fatima, right? And Fatima and Johnny. Let me check. I don't know exactly, but my director told me probably within two or one year if I if I gonna gonna move um, I'm gonna I'm gonna move to I'm gonna move I'm gonna move I'm gonna move, move, move to mm -hmm. I need it I need it no I need I need to improve my English mm -hmm. okay. okay and and you uh as a Ada? Uh, uh, this is only new employees who need training. In yes. my case, you no, know, it's not only new employees. It's necessary. It, it's for all employees. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, for, it's all employees. It's for all employees. Mm -hmm. It's uh, all employees. It's for the. It's necessary for the response the new advance uh, no for example, no the it's, pandemic it's, for COVID-19 you received every month okay. or every week's advance for this pandemic is uh every every two months every, two, a, months. every two months depend the 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 new the new advance the new technique is a is a frequently the the, the training. It uh, depend depend the positions I mean or the areas areas where the teacher. Mm -hmm. yeah. The areas is a is a training. Okay. And I think is training is frequently the three and four training or oh. and. In the years, and, and, get, and for pandemic is a is a two training okay. or in, online what, for what kind of online. What kind of training do you do you take or did you take? <laughs> 
What time? What time is raining? Um, what time? What time? It's a, it's a month. But what kind? Uh, a what tipo? kind? Que tipo? O sea, it's a, a month. Is frequently is a month and three, three months is the time is a new, new advance, new advance ah. the products, the cirugy minima invasive. Is the products is a new, is a new or it's a It's a new technique. It's a new thing, uh, new advance, depends. And Ada, you you are a doctor. And what do you do if you are a manager? We will give them the training. Yeah, for example, I, I told you that if I were Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so we're on page 36 now. Let's read and practice this conversation and please pay attention. Try to repeat and improve if you don't know the pronunciation of the word. It's very important, okay? So, yeah. whoop. Hello? Can I, can I try? Again? Can I try to the conversation? Yeah, yeah, just a minute. Just a minute, okay? Let me read it first and I will select you to practice, okay? okay. I think that was Juan. Yeah, okay. Okay, so listen, we will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It says major tasks of the position. Ah, servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget servers have to be friendly I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance. They look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Okay, Juan, help me. Um, I'm gonna be Diego, or I can be Stacy if you want, and you're Diego, okay? Okay. Was it Juan? Yeah, Juan, okay. Good, <clears throat> let's go. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of all new servers. It says major tasks of the position Oh, servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance, they look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Okay, repeat one. We need to we need to help them with that. 
We need to help them with them. We need to help them with that. 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 Better. Okay. Two more volunteers. Say me and your name. Mi Fernando. Mi Fernando and Mi Stacy. Mi Stacy. Okay. Okay. Stacy and Fernando. <laughs> One, two, three. Action. Uh, we will use this chart to analyze the training needs or of our new servers. Stacy. Stacy? Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> it says major path of the position. Ah, servers are in charge of handling to it. And correctly and processing payments correctly. Uh, don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance, they look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training. Next Saturday in the morning, I will organize organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Better, okay. St it's Johnny, uh, well, hold on, Fernando. Chart. Chart, la T, la, la T me la comí. Eso lo dije chart. No, 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 está diciendo sh sh say chart. 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 There you go, don't chart. say chart. Mm. Okay. Chart. Okay, Johnny, tasks. Tasks. It tasks. says major tasks. 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 It's a major tax. Tasks. 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 Okay, quiero que todos se, no, se fijen en esto. Su cerebro es tan inteligente que siempre se va a clavar con la consonante que más le va a costar pronunciar. Y por eso siempre vas a pronunciar primero la consonante más difícil. ¿Qué es más difícil? Las o la C. Entonces, ajá, siempre vas a decir tax. ¿Qué es lo que estoy oyendo? Tax. Mm. Tasks. Tasks. Good. Tasks. Johnny. Tasks. Ok, vamos a enfocarnos en la primera vez, Johnny. Tasks. Tasks. Ah. Ok, ahora hacemos el sonido K, S, K, S. Tasks Tasks Ok, keep, keep trying Volve al video y me okay. ves esta parte Ok, tasks okay. ok, another one You don't say Saturday It sounds like Saturday 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 mm -hmm. Cambia, Saturday. Cambia la U por una E Saturday Okay, Saturday. Better. Okay. Better. An email. An email. Mm -hmm. Email. Email. Uh -huh. El estrés de esta palabra, chicos, es en I. An email. And you send them an email. Repeat, and you send them an email. And you send them an email. And you send them the animal. <laughs> close, close. And, and you send them an email. And you send the email. Vamos despacio. And you send them an email. And you send them an email. Better. And you send them an email. Just practice, practice, practice. Repeat, repeat as many times as you can with your couple. Please make sure you repeat, repeat, repeat. Hasta que le duele la lengua, señores. Let's do it. How many are we? We are 22, but there are some couples. Okay. Let's go. Send a picture. Yes, right now. Hmm. We're just waiting for Isela. Oh. 
Okay, let's do it together if you want, um, Carla. Uh, okay. Uh, you're Stacy, I'm Diego. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It say major task of the position. Ah, servers are in charge of handling for, for correctly and processing payment correctly. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that grooming and personal appearance. They look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Good, good job. Just repeat Saturday, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, it's not durur, it's rare, Saturday. Saturday. Rare, rare, rare. Saturday. 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 Sounds better, Saturday. Good job. Okay, Isela, continue. I send you the image to your WhatsApp. Oh. Um, okay. See. Messy. Sad. <laughs> okay. Let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. And we organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Okay. Okay. Chandra Diego. Chandra Diego. Is Diego. Yes. <laughs> I, I stay. <laughs> okay. Hello. We, <laughs> hello. <laughs> we will use the, this chart to analyze the training needs of, of our new servers. It's a. It's a major stock, 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 stock. Major stock. Major stock. Oh, that's task of mm -hmm. position. Ah, oh, service and in charge of hiring food correct, correctly and processing payment correctly. Don't forget service had to be friendly. I think we need to help then with chat. Running and personal appearance, they look a bit messy. Okay, let's go. A short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything nice. and you send them an, an email to let them know. Okay. And? Now repeat. <laughs> okay. Elvin Diego. Diego. <laughs> ah, okay. okay. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It say may or sign. Oh, sorry. Okay. You continue, sorry. Sandra. No problem. No problem for me. Okay. <laughs> It's a major, major <laughs> test, uh, no, task of the position. Ah, oh, service are in charge of healthy food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget, servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that grooming and personal appearance. They look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday. In the morning, I will organize everything and just make to let you. Okay. We will use this chart to an analyze the training needs of our new service. It says major task 
of the position. Ah, servers are in charge of handling. Don't, don't forget, servers have to friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance, they look a, a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and just send them an email to let them know. Okay. In general. Okay, we will use this chart to analyze the training needs. I'm going to try our new servers. It's said major task of the position. Uh, servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payment, correct? Don't forget, servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance, they look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Let them know. Okay. Now change. Okay. We will use this chart to analyze the training need of our new server. It says major tasks of the position. Uh-huh. Who's, who's gonna be the, the brave? Where is Rocky? Where is Rocky? Here's Rocky. I'm Rocky. Okay, but who's <laughs> gonna be the brave one? Come on, guys. Who's gonna do it? Two people who haven't read tonight. I want to try. Sure, Alex. Who's going to be your couple? Me, Carolina. Excellent. One, two, three, action. We will use the chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It says major task of the position. Ah, oh, servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget terrible how to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance, they look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them, a, and you send them an email to let them know. Hey, very good. Just the word charge. No, charge. In charge, charge. 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 <laughs> there you go. Charge. Charge. Okay, very good. Select one other classmate, each of you. Carolina, select someone and Alexander, select someone. Uh, let me film. Oh. Azucena. Juan Guzman. Okay. Ada and Juan, okay. One, two, three, action. We will use we will use this chart to analyze the training needs of of our new servers. It says major tax of the position. Ah, servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget, service have have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that grooming. In personal appearance, they look at a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Excellent. Okay, guys, I see no errors on your speech. That's good. Okay, 
tomorrow we will move on with this. Let's do the attendance. And tonight I'm staying with Miguel Angel Paslanda Verde only, okay? So please turn on your cameras. Make sure you have your full name on the screen, guys. There we go. Ada Sena Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present, night. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present, good night. Good night. Hey, antes de que se vayan, eh, por favor, no vayan a llenar la encuesta ustedes solos. Hay que esperar este lunes 16 para hacerlo juntos en la clase. Ok. Nadie es vaya. De la anterior. Es diferente a la anterior. Esta es la encuesta de satisfacción que se llena en todo curso que tú recibís en Insaform, ya sea de Excel, de lo que sea, lo tenés que llenar, pero estamos siendo un proceso bien minucioso y metódico en la academia, así es de que no se puede llenar antes. ¿Qué es lo que no vamos a hacer? No llenarla antes. Pilado before. <ríe> Está molestándome. Yo sé que ya me entendieron, pero por favor, no vayan a cometer el error de llenarla antes. Es el lunes durante la clase. Yo le voy a ayudar. Vamos a ir paso a paso. Lo vamos a hacer juntos. Número dos, la plataforma, señores. Te voy a seguir recordando mañana también, ¿ok? Good. Ok, let's continue with the attendance. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Bye, Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Present. Good night. Good night. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Good night. Good night. Fátima y Efegenia López Ramos. Present. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Thank you. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Night. Night. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Good night. Good night. Carla Yanet, Amaya Herrera. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Present. Madrid Escalante. René Alfonso. Okay. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present teacher. Good night. Thank you, Renee. Good night. Roberto Luis Umaño Arellana, mm. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro, William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Me, me Sandra, teacher. Thank you, Sandra. <laughs> Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Good night. Good night, Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Good night, Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Good night, Good night. Good night, Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Good night. Good night, Juan. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Bien, Miguel, un segundo, que sus compañeros cierren su sesión. Bye, Fer. <ríe> ah, no, no está congelado, pensé que se había congelado. Ok, Miguel, ¿cómo estamos? Sí, Buenas va. noches, ¿cómo va? Bien, buenas noches. No sé si me escucha, teacher, porque toda la noche me ha pasado sacando de la clase, porque Yo. estoy conectado desde el celular. Vaya, no, no hay problema, Miguel, yo sí le escucho. No, 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 la, el internet es que... Sí, yo sé, yo lo entiendo. Va, va, va. No se preocupe, okay. esas cosas pasan. Sí. Hablamos la última vez que iba a estar practicando todos los días, ¿verdad? Tres horas diarias me dijo que iba a hacer. ¿Cómo le va? <risa> Practicando, eh, fíjese que descargué que la tengo que se llama Simpler. No sé si usted ya la ha escuchado. No, es una aplicación. Sí, es, es similar a Duolingo, pero este, como con reglas gramaticales y todo eso, y, y lo pone a memorizar a uno cinco palabras diarias. Entonces, y 
también le, le dice como la forma correcta de, de hablar o de organizar como las oraciones. Entonces, todos los días estoy practicando. Bueno, en mi hora de almuerzo, uh -huh. almuerzo y ya la media hora que me sobra me pongo a practicar en eso. Incluso hasta se puede grabar con, como uno mismo, a ver si está pronunciando pronunciación. Porque a veces yo siento que estoy pronunciando igual como, como lo escribí o como dice la aplicación, pero siempre me corrige. Entonces, de, me, me está acosando un poquito es ese punto en específico. Ey, qué bien, ya, ya me la voy a... A veces quizás me da, me da no, sé si, no sé si miedo o, o es como pánico cuando, por ejemplo, me toca hablar, porque yo siento que quizás puedo decir la palabra, pero la voy a pronunciar mal y voy a decir la pronunciación correcta. Ey, qué bien, ¿y tienes la, la versión gratuita? Ajá, eh, sí, ahorita es versión gratuita, pero sí está bastante, bastante buena la aplicación. Hmm. Ajá. Interesante. Ok. Está bien, si quieres eso. Bueno, la voy, a, la voy a revisar y la voy a instalar solo para probarla, porque a mí me gusta estar probando diferentes cosas para ir a... Ajá. De hecho, se puede aprender otros idiomas, ¿verdad? Con ella. Sí, 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 hay varios. Ok, bien. Eh, bueno, ¿y uh, qué más hemos estado haciendo aparte de estar con la aplicación? Este, bueno, lo que, lo que estuve haciendo es lo que hablé con usted en la, la primera vez, es como, como grabarme uh -huh. o, o, o le, leer. Eh, otra cosa que sí estaba haciendo es como ver como párrafo de, de alguna cuestión de, de cualquier tema, lo leo, lo leo, lo leo, lo leo, hasta memorizarlo, al punto de memorizarlo, pero no de, 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 solo de memorizarlo por, por eso, sino que aprenderme las palabras y, y tratar de, de decirlas después con fluidez, a modo de que ya se me vayan quedando, como el día a día de, de grabarme ya las palabras y, y, y incrementar un poquito más el vocabulario. Uh -huh. Sí, que era lo que veíamos de los párrafos, ¿verdad? Ok. ¿Alguna duda que tengas con, en, en cuanto a la gramática que hemos visto? ¿No? ¿Alguna duda con la gramática que hemos visto? ¿O algún tiempo gramatical? Eh, no, la verdad que no. Con la gramática quizás no. Porque también la, la refuerzo, refuerzo un poco, teacher, la gramática con, en un canal de YouTube de una... una eh, de una señora que se llama Lucy, y ahí re estoy reforzando como la gramática, porque a veces tengo como alguna duda, entonces voy y busco, por ejemplo, eh, Simple Past, eh, cuál es su estructura o cuáles son sus diferencias con el Simple Present, con el Present Continuous, cuándo, cómo se usan, entonces, y la verdad que me ha ayudado bastante a aclarar un montón de dudas que tenía con ese punto. English with Lucy? English with Lucy, yeah. Algo así se llama, como Learning English with Lucy. English, sí ajá, bueno. se llama English with Lucy. Ah, de verdad. Y todo está en inglés, ¿verdad? Está todo en inglés, según veo. Es como, veo, vemos los temas, por ejemplo, cuando estuvimos viendo should, could, would, que a mí esos me, me han costado un poquito porque a veces yo los confundo con los ¿Cómo? Y es británico, de hecho. Hola, ¿me escucha, Tiche? Sí, sí, hoy sí te escucho. Es inglés británico, oh. de hecho. Ajá, eso he visto, es como diferente en algunas cosas. Ok. Uh -huh. Vamos a hacer, hagamos un ejercicio súper fácil, ¿eh? En segundo. Ok, vamos a hacer un ejercicio lógico rapidito, ok. Oh. Ajá, ¿cuál sería la conclusión lógica?
if you don't drink water, mm -hmm. you can you can seek. Ajá. Bien. ¿Cómo yo ubico qué es lo que estoy viendo? Estoy viendo presente. Vamos al auxiliar. If you don't drink water. Sí, puedes. You can. Ok, puedes ocupar modales. You can. Ahora bien, después de can, tienes que ir un verbo en su forma base. You can get Ajá. sick. Sí, you can Ajá. get sick. Ajá. Sí, ¿No? ese, eso, eso justo, teacher, creo que es uno de los problemas que tengo a veces. Cuando van dos verbos juntos, yo me acuerdo de, del infinitivo, creo que era, que es tú. Que a veces separa, lo, separa un verbo de otro, pero... Yo sé que no se usa para todo, entonces, por ejemplo, en este, en este caso, you can get sick, ahí es donde uh, me confundo un poquito, cómo podría yo, cómo separar ah, los verbos. Okay. Solo, solo metete en la cabeza que cuando hay un modal, Ajá. no va nada después más que un verbo en su forma base. Ah, ok. Un modal, verbo en su forma base, ok. Ok. Si cuando modales. If you try harder, si tratas más duro, If you try harder. Este es el segundo condicional. You can, uh, ajá, you learn. Ajá, pasemos al futuro. Futuro. Ah, ok. You will learn. You will learn. Ajá, uh -huh. that's it. If more you fast, try harder, yeah. uh -huh, aha, more yeah. fast, uh -huh. faster, faster. Ah, yes, faster. You will learn faster. Está bonito. Sí. If you try harder, you will learn faster. Very good. Okay. Um. Vamos al lado opuesto. Acordate que con los condicionantes. Sí, eh, puede ir la condicionante a la izquierda y el resultado a la derecha. Ahora te estoy dando el resultado. You could get sick if. Ok. If you. Uh, I don't know. If you don't, if you don't do exercise, for example, <laughs> or if you don't drink water, same. Yeah, if you don't drink water, if you don't exercise. See? And so yeah. on. You could get sick if you don't exercise. Okay. Um, if you see, I would lend you $50 if. If, if you pay, if you pay me faster, or if you pay me tomorrow, for example. <laughs> aquí, es donde, aquí es donde viene lo confuso, porque este es el tercer condicionante. Uh -huh. I will lend you $50 if you paid me. Okay. If you paid me. Hmm. Modal a la izquierda, condicionante en pasado. Y así. Eh, Ese es lo complejo de, del uso de los modales, que a medida que vas Ajá. avanzando en, en nivel de complejidad, van cambiando los tiempos gramaticales que ocupas. Ok. I would, y de hecho aquí falta algo. I would have lend you. I would lend, I would have, I would have, que era lo que veíamos. I uh -huh. would have lent you, I would have lent you $50 if you paid me. If you had paid me. Bien fácil equivocarse, mira. Sí. Entonces, modal perfecto. Lo okay, que vimos, would have, could have, should have, versus pasado perfecto. Uh -huh. Y ahí eso lo puedes ir viendo. Ahí son cuatro en realidad, cuatro reglas de condicionantes, de la cero, la uno, la dos y la tres. Entonces, eh, las puedes ir revisando, hacer un montón de ejemplos, es un buen ejercicio, y me alegro mucho que estés ocupando la, la aplicación, buscando algo más que hacer, no solo quedarse con la clase, ¿ok? Y gracias por acompañarnos, hay aunque es un problema técnico y con la internet, pero 
ahí estamos. Ok, Miguel. No, gracias a usted, teacher. Gracias por todo. You're welcome. Good night. Good night, teacher.